Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a very simple pulse extender. So what does this do? Well it extends pulses of course. So if we come over here you can see we got this little contraption here and when I press the button the pulse will continue to fade out even after the button would normally stop. That's pretty much all it does. But if we come over here here's what you're going to need. Two redstone comparators, a stone button, block of your choice, and three redstone dust. But to make it longer, you can always add redstone comparators as long as you add them two at a time. So first place your button and your block, then add two redstone comparators. This one's actually backwards, I'll fix that in a second. But that is all you need. But to make the pulse longer, just expand it out just like this. But you're actually going to want to have these facing the other way so it goes around in a clock-like pattern. Now as you can see, we have an even longer pulse than before, which will slowly start to fade out. And well, that's really all there is to it. Each time you press the button, the pulse will be the same. It'll just be longer than, well, if you had a normal button there. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!